Hi, it's a warm sunny day today, end of June, and we're in the Midlands today to look at ryegrass suppression. Many growers have been using hybrid barley to suppress blackgrass for a number of years now, and it's doing a great job on the farm. And we wanted to know if we can extend those benefits to ryegrass. And we've come to this field here, population of resistant ryegrass, high level ALS resistance, and a lowish level, probably around 20% of ACCA's resistance. Autumn germinating around 95%. And as for the site itself, drilled 10th of October, previous crop was winter wheat and a distine cultivation. Good establishment thereafter to about 85%. And then of course it turned wet like everywhere else, stayed wet and the uh, right through to the spring. So the nitrogen program in the spring was delayed and then it turned dry, so we've got a slightly thinner crop than we'd normally expect. So I want to cover four things in this video. Choosing the right crop, the right seed rate, good establishment on the whole field, and the importance of integrated control. And just thinking about the pressure of this field, around 140 ryegrass heads per meter square. When we move into the, the crop plots, we reduce that. Here we've got two group four winter wheats, and they're down to about 70 heads per meter square, which is about half of the base pressure in there. But we can do better. And of course, it's well known the winter barley is more competitive than winter wheat. And here we have a couple of two row feed varieties and we've reduced the number of heads per meter square down to the 50s, but we can still do better. We've moved into the six row conventional varieties. Some of the pundits have said that all six rows are the same and we've come down to around 30 heads per meter square, but we can still do better. And now we're into the hybrid barleys. Got bazooka drilled at 200 seeds per square meter, which is the standard rate for non-grass weed scenarios. And we're into single digits, eight heads per meter square with that. But you see when we increase the seed rate here, same variety up to 250, which is our standard grass weed scenario rate, 225 to 250 at the upper end, you see you're down to two heads per meter square. So choosing a hybrid's a good thing and increasing the seed rate to 250 is also a good idea. So once you've chosen to grow hybrid barley, and you're using the higher grass weed rates, 225 to 250 seeds per square meter, the next important thing to think about is getting good establishment across the whole field. And just to illustrate this, we've drilled the bazooka at 100 seeds per square meter to simulate poor establishment like you might get in weak areas of the field or on the headlands. And you can see now we're up to about 38 heads per meter square. So big jump ups are really critical to get good establishment across the whole field and maybe increase your seed rate on the headlands. And the final part of the jigsaw is integrated control. We know that we want to maximize the impact of crop competition and reduce the amount of pressure. And then we come in and mop up the survivors with the herbicides. We've got a different part of the trial where we've applied different herbicide treatments, five liters per hectare of Defy Applied pre-emergence, we managed to get down to zero heads per meter square in the bazooka. Likewise, Axial Pro, 0.6 liters a hectare, applied towards the end of March. Again, we managed to achieve complete control in the plots. So um, we've got a number of ways of getting to the point where we minimize losses in the crop itself and eliminate seed return for the future. So in summary, if you want to maximize ryegrass control in your winter cereals, Choose hybrid barley, use a higher seed rate, 225 to 250 seeds per square meter, get great establishment across the whole field, and then finish the job off with your herbicide program. Thanks for watching, see you next time.